Oh, there it goes. It's still recording. Sweet. Okay. So the quiz is going to be 30 points. Yeah, Madison. The quiz let. There's no quiz let. No, I was going to maybe make a Kahoot, but I didn't make a Kahoot. There, there is no Quizlet. There is no Kahoot. There is a quiz, but there's no Quizlet. <laughs> so the quiz is 30 points, just like the last one. Go on, it'll obviously go in the grade book as summative, so you'll have a couple summative grades in at that time. Uh, you will need to know the different types of the, or the four different rules about natural selection. So the first slideshow we went through three weeks ago, that is called, if I go, the natural, or, uh, da, 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 da. the population genetics and natural selection. Mm -hmm. You'll need to look through that guy. There'll be a question about blue eyes and how they related, how all blue eyed people are related. You'll need to know what genes are and alleles are. I'll give you a picture, picture of an organism and you'll have to tell me what some phenotype uh, or what types of phenotype that that organism has. You will need to know what capital A, capital A means, what capital A, lowercase a means, and what lowercase a, lowercase a means. So heterozygous, homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive. You'll need to know what those things are. There'll be one two-part question about Hardy-Weinberg. I will give you the equations you need. All you need to do is be able to answer the math portions of it. So it's not a, it'll be a multiple choice Hardy-Weinberg question. So I'll let you have, make sure you bring your calculators or bring a calculator tomorrow other than your phone. If you don't have a calculator, I'll try to have a supply of simple or simple question uh, about fi a fitness. So I'll give you four or four individuals of, of a similar species of bird, and you need to tell me which organism is more fit based on a scenario. So like I'll give you a food source, and you need to be able to tell me based on the image of the, the bird that I give you which bird will have the highest fitness. Uh, you will need to know the different types of selection, so stabilizing selection, disruptive selection, directional selection. And then you'll need to know the uh, genetic bottleneck and genetic drift. Then we have a couple of questions about microclimates. You'll need to know what acclimation is. You'll need to know what the difference between endothermic and exothermic or ectothermic is. And then I have a short answer question about explain that I want you to explain how any animal or just a particular animal uh, stores water, like what they do to maintain water supply. Not multiple choice. See, there's a whole bunch of different answers you could come up with that, with that one. 
and then there's a similar one. Well, I'll well, that's all about terrestrial plants. So you'll have to use or give me an example of a terrestrial plant that has a special adaption to store water. There will be a question about a fish, and you need to tell me if it's a saltwater fish, does it drink water or urinate? Or if it's a freshwater fish, does it drink water or urinate? You'll need to know which one does what. There will be one question about the urban heat islands. So I'll give you a picture of New York City. And you need to, it's a multiple choice question, decide which question best fits, fits the thermal heat, heat island that I give you. And the last part of the quiz is all going to be about social rela relationships. So what we talked about this week. So I'll give you a picture of an organism and you need to tell me based on the picture, is it mutualistic, commensalism, or parasitism or parasitism. So I've got a couple of questions that are like that where I'll give you a picture and you need to tell me what type of relationship is. The picture will be pretty obvious. Like it won't be any that are questionable. They'll be pretty obvious. Uh, then there'll be a question about intrasexual or intersexual selection. So you need to know the difference between intrasexual and intersexual selection. There will be a question about mate resource provisioning. Then I'll give you a question about cooperative breeding. I'll give you four pictures of different organisms in different situations, and you need to determine which image best fits a species that uses cooperative breeding. There'll be one question about what percentage of energy is passed from one trophic level to the next. And that's a multi -cho multiple choice one. And then the last, uh, what percentage of energy is passed from one trophic level to the next trophic level? And then the last question will be, what is a keystone species? So I don't think it's a I don't think it'll be a super hard quiz.